on the banks of the Kishwaukee River. We're in DeKalb, Illinois, where the crowd is pumped up for this exciting college football matchup. This is a great day for football, and we're anxious to get this game underway between the Kent State Golden Flashes and the Northern Illinois Huskies. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet along with you as we continue to bring you the excitement of the season as the fans are anxious to see what teams are going to make the bowl bids and who will be the national champions. The Huskies look like they're going to get killed out there. you got to think the same thing, Lee. Forget about it. Kent State has a huge advantage in one particular area, the running game. Kirk, look for them to run the ball 40 to 50 times in this game and absolutely demolish and demoralize this defense. Big win in this one. Coach, I think you're right. I think this one's a blowout. Kent State is led offensively by their highly talented wide receiver. And they're ready to kick this one away. Number 32 and number 28 to receive. Stuckey kicks it off. Number 28 fields it in the end zone. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21. They line up in an eye. He drops back. <clears throat> Throws it out there. Mayer with a takedown at the 16. Drop back four yards on that one. The Huskies get the ball at the 16-yard line. Kent State lines up defensively in a 4-3. Back to pass. He lets it go, and that one's fallen incomplete. And he couldn't hang out of that ball. Well, that's frustrating for the quarterback right there because he threw the ball very well. You have to expect your receivers to make that kind of catch. Ball on their own 16. Kent State comes out in a 4-3. Still has it. He's looking for his man. Number 87 with a catch. He jumped up and snagged that ball. Well, the quarterback threw the ball too high. Credit his receiver for going up to make the play. Ball on the 31. It's first and 10. He's backfield. He juked. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. Couldn't get anything out of that. Ball on the 30. Second and 10. Kent State lines up defensively in a 4-3. Second and 10. Number 51 brings him down at the 32. And the defense is ready for that play. Boy, you better believe it. That play didn't have a chance. Third and eight. Ball on the 32-yard line. McWilliams lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Fires across the middle. Number 10 with the interception. McWilliam with a takedown at the 19. And a fantastic individual effort on that one, Coach. Kirk reminds you a lot of alley ball. Yeah, Coach, I agree. It kind of reminds me of backyard football. You know when you kind of bait that quarterback, hoping he tosses it up, so when the ball's released, you just step up and make the interception. They're in the red zone. Mason, alone in the backfield. David brings him down at the 16-yard line. They got him tied up, and he couldn't get anywhere. Brad, I loved how that defense attacked this run. Ball on the 16-yard line. Kent State comes out with an eye formation. They'll bring him down at the 10-yard line. Of course, he picked up a few yards on that one. Brad, tough running by this kid. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Number 16, back to pass. Let's it fly. First down, and he's tackled at the two. An eight-yard gain.
They put everyone up on the line. And it pays off. Touchdown. They managed to find the end zone on the ground. Nice job by the offense, wasn't it, Kirk? Well, Coach, just like you always say, keep it simple when you're down inside the five-yard line. Good job to finish off the drive. Tacks on the extra point. Kent State to kick this one off. Number 32, number 28, deep to the season. Stuckey kicks it off. Number 28 fields it in the end zone. The kickoff is down for a touchback. Ball on their own 21. First and 10. Kent State comes out in a 4-3. McWilliams drops to throw. He's looking for his man. And it's incomplete. And he just let that one slip out of his hand. Oh, he can't take his eyes off the ball. It looks like that's what happened. Ball on the 21. So it's second and 10. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. He unloads it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 21. 4 3 defense. Back to throw. Throws it out there. They'll bring him down at the 19. They get a one yard loss on that one. Ball on the 19 yard line. Foster back to return it. Number four gets it off. Foster fields it at the 42. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 42. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking for his man. Bat it away. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Takes a timeout. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. They use four linebackers. Number 37 with a takedown at the 46-yard line. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy like that who can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure keeps some pressure off the passing game. Ball on their own 46. They'll bring in their dime package. Drop back to pass. He unloads it, and it's caught. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. And they get the first down. That is unbelievable. Wow, Kirk, this quarterback's showing some big-time nerves out there. Third and long, it's just like first and ten to this guy. Yeah, you're right. A lot of poise from this young man. It's first and ten. The Huskies put four men up front. Play action. He's on the run. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. A four-yard loss. Four 
fifth play of this drive coming up. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Drops to throw. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Third and long. Ball on the 47. Kent State goes with the ace set here. Play action. Throws it out there. Number 37 knocks it away. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Fourth and a bunch coming up here. Number 28 awaiting the return. He punts it. Ball on their own 21. It's first and 10. Number 28 lines up as a single back. Westgate tackles him for a loss on the play. And they back up three yards on that play. Ball on the 17. Four-man front by the defense. Thomas brings him down at the 24. A gain of six. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Kent 7, Northern Illinois nothing. And we're ready now for the start of the second quarter. Now it's third and six coming up. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Drops back to pass. Rifles this one out to the left. Number 80 has it. There's a missed tackle. Brought down at the 40. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. Going with the shotgun here. Back to throw. He throws it. Number 80 makes the catch. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and 10, ball on the 18. The golden flashes use a four-man front here. And down he goes at the 15. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Second and seven. The Huskies line up in an eye formation. He guns it to the left. Complete, and it's caught for the touchdown. And that one looked just like they draw it up there. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. the PAT. Northern Illinois to kick Puff and Foster set to return. Number 13 kicks it off. Foster fields it at the seven. First and ten, ball on the 19 yard line. The golden flashes go with the I formation. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Nice pickup on that one. Boy, it always helps when you're running behind a bunch of big daddies like these guys. 
Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 27. Mason alone in the backfield. And down he goes at the 28 yard line. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Brad, great effort up front by that defense. Ball on the 28. Mason is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to pass. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. They'll lose eight yards there. Ball on their own 20. Fourth down and nine. Number 28, the return man. He gets it off. Number 28, fields it to 31. He couldn't make anything happen on that front return. Yeah, well, there wasn't much he could do in a situation like that. There were just too many tacklers around him. Ball on the 32-yard line. It's first and 10. The Huskies come out in the ace formation. McWilliam is going to be sacked for a loss. Taken back three yards. Ball on the 28-yard line. McWilliams is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. He unloads it. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. That's a loss of about three. Third and long. Kent State lines up defensively in a 4-3. He drops back. Rifles it over the middle. It falls incomplete. I think the pressure forced him to get rid of the ball there, guys. Yeah, great job here by the defense. Getting a good surge up front, getting right into the quarterback's face. Fourth down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Foster back deep to return. He gets it away. Foster fields it at the 40. And he's taken down at the 37. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Kent State comes out with an eye formation on the option. Now he pitches it. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. They picked up good yardage on that one, Lee Corso. Oh, baby. Did the O-line create a lane for him to run through or what? Second down and short. Ball on the 27. The Huskies line up in a 4-3. Here they come. Number 37 with a takedown at the 14-yard line. You get a nice pickup on that one. Hey, you guys, watch out for this kid. That one's worth another look. Ball on the 14. First and 10. The Huskies use a four-man front here. Tackle at the one. They get a nice run, and that will be enough for the first down. Yo, this kid has some sensational moves. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he gets the touchdown. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. Tacks on the extra point.
Kent State to kick this one off. Number 28 and number zero back to return. Stuckey kicks it off. Number 32 fields it in the end zone. Ball on the 21-yard line. It's first and 10. Northern Illinois lines up with a shotgun set. He drops back. Rolls right. McWilliams just throws this one away. Ball on the 21. Northern Illinois lines up in the ace set. Drops back. This one's thrown deep over the middle, and that one's fallen incomplete. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. What he needs to do is make some plays and start controlling the defense instead. Ball on the 21. The Huskies line up in an I formation. Drops to throw. Deep pass down the left side. And it falls incomplete. What happened there, Kirk? Well, as a quarterback, you usually want to put the ball in front of the receiver so he can catch it in stride. Here he just put it a little bit too far in front. Foster back to return it. Number four gets it off. Foster fields it at the 38. They'll bring him down at the 46. He made some nice moves on that return. Yeah, but too many, Brad. Boy, he'd love to have another chance at that one. The field is wide open for a score. Ball on the 46. It's first and 10. Four-man front by the defense. Back to pass. Throws it out there. And it's caught. And they finally bring him down at the three-yard line. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. They put everyone up on the line. They'll score. Touchdown. They managed to find the end zone on the ground. Nice job by the offense, wasn't it, Kirk? Well, Coach, just like you always say, keep it simple when you're down inside the five-yard line. Good job to finish off the drive. It's the PAT. Kent State to kick. Here's the kick. Number 32 fields it in the end zone. It's first and 10. Kent State comes out in a 4 3. At the 21 yard line. He's tackled at the 22. Well, that play sure didn't work. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there, and they stuffed it. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Kent, 21. Northern Illinois.
Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Number 13 kicks it off. Huff has it at the five. All on their own 27. Mason lines up in the deep back. I formation. They'll run the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Three yard loss there. Ball on the 24 yard line. Northern Illinois lines up defensively in a 3 4. Number 16, back to pass. This one's thrown deep over the middle. Complete, brought down at midfield. And he delivered a nice pass there, coach. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. It's going to have the defense calling for mercy soon. Ball on the 50. It's first and 10. Four-man front by the defense. Here they come. Tackle at the 34. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, the defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34. at the 27-yard line, about six yards on the play. This is the fifth play of this drive. The golden flashes go with the I formation. Back to pass. He throws it. Foster hangs on to it. Coach, what can you say about that? All I can say is that was a nice call. The quarterback saw the hole in the defense, and that's a touchdown, folks. And he tacks on the extra point. Kent State to kick this one off. Number 32 and number 28 to receive. He kicks it. He set that one a mile, Coach. Oh, that was a sensational kick. Good, strong leg on that young man. Ball on their own 21. It's first and 10. The golden flashes put four men up front. McWilliams drops back to pass. Rolls right. McWilliams is going to be sacked for a loss. They lose three yards there. Ball on the 17. The Huskies come out in the ace formation. Drops to throw. Nice gain on the play. The ball was thrown perfectly. Good precision there. Ball on the 26. Number 28 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Ball 
Little shake and bake move. Durham brings him down at the 27. Didn't get anything. Fourth and three coming up. Ball on their own 27. Foster awaiting the return. He gets it away. Foster takes it at the 36. Ball on the 35. Northern Illinois comes out in a 4-3. Breaks a tackle. He's got the first. Number 26 with a takedown at the 49. They picked up good yardage on that one, Lee Corso. Oh, baby. Did the O-line create a lane for him to run through or what? First and 10. Ball on the 49. Northern Illinois going with a three-man front. Back to pass. Let's it fly. Number 36 with a catch. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18. Kent State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. Incomplete pass. Pass interference, defense. And they're going to call him for pass interference in the end zone. You know, it may have been a touchdown if it wasn't for that interference. Now it's first down and a little closer right. to the goal line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And they'll score. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreet. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Kent State ready to kick this one off. Number 32 and number 28 back deep to return. Stuckey kicks it off. He really booted that thing, Kirk. And Brad, you know what? This is such a great weapon to have on special teams. on the 21-yard line. It's first and 10. Number 28 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. He lets it go, and down he goes at the 35-yard line. That was a nice leaping catch. You know, those passes can be dangerous, too, because the receiver makes himself vulnerable jumping in the air like that. Ball on the 35-yard line. It's first and 10. Northern Illinois comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. Let's it go. And they make the stop at the 36. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 36. 4-3 defense. At the 36 yard line. McWilliams back to pass. He throws it. Incomplete. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. Third and eight. Ball on the 36 yard line. 
The Huskies go with the eye formation, drops back to pass. McWilliam is going to be sacked for a loss. Big setback and a big loss on the play. Ball on the 25. It's fourth down and a long ways to go. Foster, the return man. He punts it. Foster fields it the 31. Fair catch made by number 89. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Kent 35, Northern Illinois 7. And we're ready to start quarter number four. It's first and 10. Mason is the deep back as they line up in the eye. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. He carried for a nice gain before they could wrestle him down. Brad, if he keeps running like that, he'll get his number called again and again and again. Ball on their own 38. Kent State lines up in the ace set. Number 94 brings him down at the 41. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move downfield. First and 10, ball on the 41. The Golden Flashes line up in an eye formation. Can't wrap him up. Number 21 with a takedown at the 38-yard line. He got a really nice gain on that run. Brad, I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box lead. Maybe they could slow down this running game. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. Ball on the 38. It's first and 10. The golden flashes go with the eye formation. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a good job by that big offensive line. No, it really was, Brad. And also a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. First and 10. The golden flashes line up in an eye formation. Burks brings him down at the 22, and he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Ball on the 22, second and seven. Northern Illinois lines up defensively in a 4-3. Drops back. Throws it out there. And it's incomplete. It looks like he overthrew him on that one. I'll tell you, I think the quarterback got rid of that one too quickly, Kirk. Well, Coach, you're right. They need to work on their timing a little bit more. Third down and seven. Kent State sets up in the eye. David with a takedown at the 20. Two-yard pickup. Fourth down and five. Ball on the 20-yard line. Justice lines up for the field goal. It's up. And he got it. Kent State lines up for the kickoff. Number 28 and number zero back ready to return. Stuckey kicks it off. 
Number 32 fields it in the end zone. The kickoff is down for a touchback. Ball on the 21-yard line. It's first and 10. Number 28, thrown in the backfield. Complete. Number six brings him down at the 27-yard line. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 27. Back to pass. McWilliams is going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of three. Ball on the 24-yard line. Steps back to pass. He's on the run. McWilliams is going to be sacked for a loss. Ball on their own 15. He drops back. He's looking for his man. Mosling tips it away. They couldn't convert that fourth down. Boy, look at these guys out there. They're fired up. Now let's see if it's going to lead to any points. First and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. The Huskies come out in a 34 defense. Ball on the 17 yard line. Four three defense. Ball on the 19. The Huskies line up in a nickel back. Timeout called by the defense. Ball on the 21 yard line. Justice is lined up for the kick. It's up. And it sails through the uprights. Kent State ready to kick this one off. Number 28 and number zero. Deep to return. Stuckey kicks it off. That was some kick. Yo, does that guy have a leg or what? First and ten. Northern First Illinois lines up in the ace set. Drops to throw. He unloads it. It falls incomplete. Kirkie just let that one get away from him. Yeah, and you can see he wants that one back. That's a throw this guy can make in his sleep. Second and ten. The golden flashes put four men up front. Let's it go. First down. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. I gotta see that one again. That's the end of the game with a final score. Kent 41, Northern Illinois 7. And this one finally comes to an end, and it wasn't even close. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I think this is pretty much what people expected. Kent State was obviously a stronger team, and they didn't seem to let up just because they were playing a weaker opponent. I love their hard-working, 
take care of business attitude. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2002. And our final score in this one, Kent 41, Northern Illinois 7. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time.